welcome to the channel I want to show you guys a product that might save you if you're trying to remove a rusty nut or bolt uh, this stuff might save you at CRC freeze off it definitely saved me so CRC they're claiming that it's a super penetrant with freeze shock action it says it remove it freezes and cracks rust and no job is too tough I'm sure there's a job out there that is too tough but from what from my experience using the product I haven't seen anything better because it's more than just a lubricating or penetrating oil it's more than a PP blaster or anything like that it actually gets really cold along with having a lubricant coming out at the same time so it's kind of interesting I've never thought to use cold to loosen a bolt but if you think about it it does make sense and somehow it works so I, what I was trying to remove using this product is a lower power steering hose and uh, on, a, on a 2004 F-150 and all the forums that I were looking at online people just couldn't get this lower power steering line off and it's a very common issue but uh, I've done some research no one tried using this on that exact issue but I did find that a couple uh, people were using this online in different applications so I went ahead and went to Advanced Auto Parts and bought it and I will say you know after using heat I did use heat to try to remove the uh, lower power steering hose from this rack and pan on the 04 F-150 I tried heat you know a couple times heated it up I soaked it overnight I, uh, I tapped on it with a little sledgehammer and a little uh, little chisel try to give it a little shock action I, I uh, worked it with pliers I tried pulling on it I tried you know tapping on it and it just wouldn't let go wouldn't let loose now CRC freeze off comes in and I sprayed it for about 30 seconds with a straw attachment and I could feel it getting cold you know I could I kind of backed off of it and felt it and it was cold it wasn't it was it was probably uh, just right there at the freezing mark it wasn't like incredibly cold but after doing it after spraying it for about 30 seconds it cracked it loose and I was definitely impressed so you know you can only imagine what can be done you know this product being super cold it's a lot safer in some tight areas maybe there's some rubber components involved you know, if you're working on a car, there's some rubber components. If you're working near something flammable and you're trying to get something loose, then this product will have a lot less damage or probably no damage to uh, sensitive components. Like with the rack and pinion, I'm sure if I had the ability to use as much heat as I wanted, then I could have gotten it off. But I had to be careful with the amount of heat that I had on a power steering pump. On a power steering, it was a power steering rack and pinion. I had to be careful with the amount of heat that I applied to it because I didn't want to ruin any rubber seals. Whereas using the CRC freeze off, he freeze off, I could use as much as this as I wanted. So using this product, it got it loose, and it still wouldn't come out. So I did end up putting a little bit of heat on it, nothing crazy. But like I said, it's a, it's a rack and pinion, so I didn't want to damage any rubber components. Maybe like 30 seconds of heat. And this is not a torch. This is just a map heater. So if it were a torch, it would have damaged. For sure, it wasn't an oxyacetylene. It's not. It's not oxyacetylene heat or anything, but 30 seconds of that, and then hitting it with the freeze gave it even more of a shock. So, if you're trying to get off O2 sensors and things like that, this stuff claims that because it gets cold, it allows the oil to get into the fastener, and it seems to be true. I mean, it soaked into something that nothing else worked for, and it soaked in really quick. And it's a very interesting concept. It raises a lot of questions like if using cold shock is so good. I mean, I wonder what would happen if you got a can of freeze, maybe not with oil in it, but say for something that's a little bit more stubborn. If you got a, a can of a freeze, some kind of freeze type can that put out a cold spray, if that would help if you had oil on the side, maybe some WD-40 or some other kind of penetrant because there are oils there are penetrating oils that lubricate technically better than like a wd-40 i don't know how good this stuff actually lubricates but it has everything mixed together the lubricant lubricant and the cold spray but i wonder if you had the you know maybe the best lubricant and then a can of cold spray separately if that would work i don't know it'd be very very interesting to find out 
Uh, but, you know, if you're in a pinch and I talked to some mechanics and there's a few I talked to a few mechanics that didn't know about this product. So I'm willing to bet there's a lot of people that didn't know that this product even exists. And, you know, I'm actually finding out about it for the first time. And this stuff has been on the market for a while. So it is from CRC. I've had a lot of success with all the CRC products. I've used the CRC electrical conductor cleaner. I've used the CRC uh, corrosion inhibitor. And that stuff is top notch. You know, the corrosion inhibitor is uh, found. A lot of people have found it to be better than fluid film. Uh, the the clean the uh, electrical connector cleaner is is good stuff too. I don't I don't know if it's better than uh, some of the other products, but CRC I feel like CRC makes good products overall, and I'm really impressed by their freeze off super penetrant. So if I can find some more really rotted on frozen fasteners that I can take off with this stuff, I will and show the results. But um, just from my experience using it. This stuff has been phenomenal. So, CRC freeze off. If you're in a bind and you're in, in your, you've tried other all the other options before you do anything else, try CRC freeze off to get whatever you're trying to get loose. Maybe it's an O2 sensor in a tight spot. Maybe it's uh, some uh, old lug nuts and you don't want to break the stu- uh, the, the the studs. You know, this stuff might work. Maybe it's. Uh, Maybe it's a exhaust manifold that's got some really corroded stuff on it. This stuff might be something that you use in conjunction with a different penetrating oil. Uh, like I say, I'm interested in even trying something that gets colder than this because this stuff does get cold, but it's not the coldest product that you could have sprayed out of a can. So, anyway, comment below. I'll put some links to this stuff below. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you think. Have you tried this product? And uh, would you be willing to try this product? Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored in any way by them. But I'll uh, put the link out there just because it is uh, something that worked really good. And I think it can uh, help a lot of people. Comment below. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.